ambitious plans to take the club into the next century at a new multi-sport complex at Le Burnham Playing Fields, just off the outer ring road and still in sight of the Cranes at Harland and Wolf. If all is agreed, the Glens would team up with Grosvenor Rugby and Hockey Clubs. On that site, we would propose to have a football stadium, all-seater, uh, a synthetic pitch which is mul uh, for multi-sport and a rugby pitch and then incorporate rugby, hockey and football on the one side. Well let's ask Grosvenor what they think about that. Uh, are you right behind it, Tom Whiteside? We're very interested in this project and uh, we've been there a long time and uh, like all junior rugby clubs we're, we're looking to the future and we see this as a, a possible way of uh, continuing existence and uh, we've been been there for 40 odd years so you know we look to be there for a long, another long time. Grosvenor's membership still has to agree, planning permission still has to be gained and more than seven million pounds still has to be raised but Glentoran... ...the Burnham playing fields. The new oval will cost in the region of seven and a half million pounds and will be relocated on the Prince Regent Road. The club launched their strategy document entitled Glentorn and the Community this morning. A new multi-sports complex is proposed, which will incorporate a new 10,000 capacity all-seater stadium. It will still be called the Oval, and even the pitch will be dug up and taken to the new site. The Glentorn chairman is David Chick. Well, obviously there, there'd be a, uh, there will be a wrench for a lot of people, not, not least of all for myself, because I came here uh, as uh, a seven-year-old. Uh, for my first match with uh, an uncle of mine uh, brought me to the Oval and uh, it's a wrench for me as well but you can't let that stop uh, progress and while there will be a few people that will be uh, disenchanted with the idea of moving I would say the vast majority will welcome it and in 20 years time or in 10 years time or maybe in 5 years time after the new Oval is opened they'll be absolutely delighted in talking about that Glentorn are one of the oldest clubs in Ireland and the Oval site has been witness to many special occasions. It's also had its problems. The ground was bombed during the Second World War. The present Glen's boss is Tommy Cassidy. It's now 1994 and I go across England quite a lot. I, I go to a lot of these stadiums, multi-purpose stadiums, and it is a way forward. And, and for, for Glentorn Football Club to instigate it really in, in Northern Ireland, I think it's a great achievement. The plans include a new all-purpose synthetic pitch and a new rugby playing field with improved access and parking. Now those plans are still at a tentative stage but all parties concerned are hopeful that Glen Torn and Grosvenor Rugby and Hockey Clubs will be playing in their new field of dreams by the 